Good afternoon. It's Friday the 23rd of January at about 4 o'clock. It's getting a bit cooler, so the temperature I guess would be around 0, 1 degrees. A week ago I was in the Caribbean where the temperature was 30 degrees. Rather more pleasant in some ways, but this is bracing enough. When I got back last Saturday, my telephone rang and I picked it up. And the latest voice said, I'm Victoria, someone or other, from, I believe it was Better Health England. And she said, we're conducting a survey. And I said to her, in response, please take a look at my website. That will tell you all I want to say about health and fitness. I can't do that, she said. We have to complete the survey. So I said to her, I'm terribly sorry I haven't got the time, nor indeed do I have the inclination. When it comes to public health, this country is planet pathetic. We have people obsessing about their wellness, scurrying in and out of surgeries, and sadly, people do not take responsibility for their own lives. Governments, of course, like it that way because they like to control us. But Mark Twain once said, the two most important days of our lives are the day we are born and the day we find out why. If we are not prepared to take responsibility for our own lives, we will never find out why we were put here. So, I've taken responsibility for my life. I'm having a daily air bath, which is fine, after I've been running, doing eye exercises, all sorts of other calisthenic exercises. And what I would like to say is, as I said to this lady, we have the most overweight population in Europe, we have children of 10 who are morbidly obese. We have a National Health Service that spends thousands of pounds on thousands of people for gastric band operations, that spends money on breast enhancement for ladies who don't need it. And we have people who are seriously ill who are not properly looked after. People generally would feel so much better if they prepared themselves, took responsibility for their own lives and actually followed some sort of sensible, simple health regime. In the last 30 years, that's 10,950 days plus seven for the leap years, there won't be 10 days that I haven't trained. And training isn't just pottering around once a day, for me it's two to six times a day. And people will say, I haven't got time absolute rubbish. There's always time for something we want to do. What people don't have is direction, they don't have a sense of purpose and they need to get off of their backsides and actually start doing things that are going to benefit themselves and therefore everybody else around them. So I hope that in 2015 people will get a little bit more serious about their health, a little bit more serious about their fitness eat good food but less of it, take exercise regularly and it doesn't have to be extreme, I possibly am fairly extreme, and test yourself and don't rely on doctors who will prescribe drugs for you and very often there are of course some terrific doctors and drugs do save lives but too many people take too many drugs with too many side effects for no good purpose whatsoever. So good health for 2015 Look after yourself, take responsibility, and remember that if you don't learn something, you'll never achieve anything.